<laughs> hey guys, it's Baron Survivor coming at you with another update video. Or, I guess this is a preview video. I didn't want to show my face in this one. That way I can actually show you some of the figures we're going to be previewing today. So today I'd like to show you guys some of the preview pictures from Halo Reach Series 6. Yeah. So, Spawn.com, as you may know already, does not have any of the Series 6 preview pictures. But some pictures have leaked onto other internet sources. And since I am such a great person, and I love all my fans, and you guys, I figured I would help you guys out by, um, you know, showing you these preview pictures. So, the first one we're going to look at is the Brute Major. Now, as you can see... This Brute Major is actually the same sculpt, pretty much, as the Brute, um, Chieftain. The head sculpt is actually the same, because the helmet is removable, um, and it's got the same hinge mouth, the helmet is removable, and it's got the same shoulders as the Brute Chieftain, the same chest as the Brute Chieftain, it's got the Brute Miner's... It's got actually a lot of things from the Brute Chieftain, but some things removed. Um, because it's not a miner, but it's not the Chieftain yet. So, it's sort of got less armor than the Chieftain, but it is the same sculpt, generally. So, it's got the nice gold and silver color tone, which I really like about that. Um, so, yeah. I think it comes with a spiker and a plasma grenade. A brute spiker, always nice. And a plasma grenade, which is pretty basic, though you have nowhere to put it on them. So, enough of that one. Next one is probably the one I've been anticipating from Halo Reach for the longest time. The Elite Zealot. Or Zealot. Did I pronounce it Zealot? So, the Elite Zealot comes with a plasma. or no, no concussion rifle, I'm sorry. I was going to say plasma rifle. Or plasma repeater is actually what I was going to say. Um, uh, comes with a concussion rifle and a plasma grenade. Yeah, as you can see, this is a um, Elite Zealot, which sort of resembles the Elite General by way of the shoulder piece and helmet. But everything else is a completely new sculpt. So this is actually pretty much a new armor sculpt, generally. Because it's got a lot of new things that we haven't seen before. I would have liked it if they released this in Series 5 instead of the Elite Ranger. I could have gone without that. But I'm so glad they finally released it. It's a must-have for any um, Halo Reach collector, as far as I'm concerned. It's got the amazing maroon detailing and the, like, lights that you see in the game. And if you recall, um, in, when you're doing Sword Base, the Zealot is the first, like, elites you run into when you're in a cutscene. It's the first elite you meet. And it's, it's got the mandible armor and... All the things the Zealots should have, and it's just an amazing sculpt. I'm really excited about getting it. I've actually pre-ordered it, hopefully, along with the Brute Major, as I like collecting the Covenant. Next up is a set. It's only $20, so you could count it as a two-pack. The Generator Defense Set, which comes with a JFO in what appears to be kind of a sage olive color. And then, of course, the Generator. The generator looks very nice. It's got a lot of cool decals and details. It's very nice paint job. It looks just like it should be. Now, the JFO comes with a shotgun. Ugh. Really. It comes with a shotgun. That's just so... upsetting. Because the shotgun is not easily held by the figures. As we all know. But the JFO helmet is very nice, uh, JFO armor in general is really nice. Um, the chest, I can't tell what it is, but it looks like, um, security chest. And security shoulders in that. Uh, it's got a steel secondary on the legs. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this one. I'm glad they're re-releasing JFO because it's a nice armor. I like it. Next up, what I'm very excited about, the Target exclusive Red Recon with Rocket Launcher. Yes, that's right, they're releasing a Red Recon. Really, really excited about that. Um, he is red, and he's got a silver visor, which looks very nice. It comes with a Rocket Launcher, which is fantastic. Rocket Launcher is a very nice weapon, I've already got two. Um, and I'm very happy to get another one. 
So, yes. Um, next is the Toys R Us exclusive. Rust has up with Focus Rifle. Now, Focus Rifle was released previous series in Series 5 with the Elite Ranger, and they are re-releasing it with the Spartan Hazop. They are giving him the security shoulder pad, a um, default chest, and the Hazop helmet. No, they're making him rust. And it looks like it's the old rust color, not the new, improved rust. It looks like the Series 3 rust. And that... Oh, yeah. I can't tell. Maybe that's just a prototype picture, but I'm not loving it so far. Comes with a Bragging Grade and a Focus Rifle. But the Focus Rifle is the first human that comes with a Covenant weapon, so I really like that. Next up is the Saber Pilot. Oh, I I am not buying this, no matter how many people tell me to. I will never buy this figure. It is pretty much just a re-sculpt of the Marine. And with no shoulders, no shoulder pads. They still have not fixed the bicep because, as you can see in the picture, it's just a hinge at the elbow. And it comes with a DMR, which is a two handed weapon. Seriously, people, they haven't fixed it. And this series sticks. This is the last series Taylor's, and they never fixed it. So don't buy this one. If you're gonna buy any of them, buy like the Zealot or the Brute Major or anything else. So don't buy this. Next up is something I've been looking forward to for a very, 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 very long time. The Team Objectives Pack, which comes with three flags, red, white, and blue. The flag stand, the, um, kill skulls, with the flaming kill skulls, the griff ball, and then the covenant griff ball, a gravity hammer, and then a maroon Mark V. Um, so if you got the active camo pack, then you'll know what color I'm talking about, but the Mark V is not your generic red, it's actually maroon. Which is very nice, it comes with Gravity Hammer, which was previously released in the Brute Chieftain. Now we get it again, which is very, very nice. Alright, next up is the, um... I don't quite know what this one's called, but... Um, it looks like it comes with two, um... Like, bomb thingies, or I don't know what they're called at the moment, sorry. An elite general of the plasma repeater, which is great, and then a grenadier Spartan with a grenade launcher. I think he has an EVA chest, security shoulders, and grenadier helmet with blue visor. Which is interesting. I've never done a blue visor before. It comes with those bomb-looking things, and then the elite general with a silver and yellow secondary with a plasma repeater. Very excited about the plasma repeater. Can't wait to get this pack. Um, next is Unhelmeted June. Now, as you can see, June has his blood and scars. And I'm actually pretty excited that I might get this one. This is the first Unhelm I've gotten. Or will get, probably. Because it comes with a sniper rifle. You know, I only have one of those. It's got a lot of nice armor. And it comes with a very generic head. That can be used great for customing. It's very generic. All it's got is the cuts holding you back. So, I'm probably going to end up getting this one. And the last one um, that I neglected to put in the original video, now that I'm looking at it, but need to bring it back because I got a picture for it. As I'm looking right now, I'm not seeing it. I heard it. I'm hiding. Um, the white JFO Spartan Walgreens exclusive. Somehow Walgreens worked up the money to get their own exclusive. Don't ask me how, but they did. So, that's that. Um, weapon that this guy comes with, oops, comes with is a Magnum. Now, I've always loved the White Spartans. It's always very cool. I never got the White CQC, but I'm probably gonna end up getting this one if I can make my way to Walgreens. Because JFO is a really cool helmet, and white is really nice. It's got a default chest, JFO shoulders, and JFO helmet with a magnum. Very nice, really cool, I like it. So yeah, that's Series 6 overview. And hope you guys liked this video, hope it was informative to you. And um, Series 6 will be coming out in February. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Which one do you want to get the most? Thanks for watching you guys, and...